12 Ways in Which Satan Messes With Jesus' Followers A Bible Teaching Followers of Jesus must face up to their enemy, Satan, who often deceives them, seeking to destroy their witness, and to kill their body. The New Testament reveals Satan's tactics, along with effective defense measures against him. 1. Satan can lead followers to change their allegiance, from Christ to him. The devil said, all these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Your best defense remains to worship and serve only the Lord your God. 2. Satan can fill a follower's heart to lie to the Holy Spirit about financial dealings. Why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit? You have not lied to man but to God. Your best defense remains to show generosity. 3. Satan can put it in a follower's heart to betray Jesus. The devil put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray Jesus. Your best defense remains to keep yourself clean. 4. Satan can tempt to sexual sin, followers who lack self-control. Satan may tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Your best defense remains for married couples to dwell together. 5. Satan can lead followers astray from truth about Christ. I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts will be led astray, from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. Your best defense remains to warn against false teaching about Jesus, his spirit, and his good news. 6. Satan can turn a follower's human anger into sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and give no opportunity to the devil. Your best defense remains to forgive one another. 7. Satan can frustrate followers' missionary plans. We wanted to come to you, I Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered us. Your best defense remains to send a co-worker. 8. Satan can puff up leaders with conceit. An overseer must not be a recent believer, lest he become puffed up with conceit, and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Your best defense remains to choose as leaders, those who remain above reproach. 9. Satan can ensnare leaders with disgrace. An overseer may fall into disgrace, into a snare of the devil. Your best defense remains to choose as leaders, those who are well thought of by outsiders. 10. Satan can cause doctrinal controversies amongst followers. Foolish, ignorant controversies, breed quarrels the snare of the devil. Your best defense remains to correct your opponents with gentleness. 11. Satan devours followers who are careless about their faith. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around, like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Your best defense remains to resist the devil, firm in your faith. 12. Satan draws followers into friendship with the world. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Resist the devil. Your best defense remains to draw near to God, and he will draw near to you.
are believers whose hearts are for God individually and has also attained positions of power within churches. In the secular world, these people are often thought to suffer from narcissistic personality disorder, paranoia, and are often labeled as psychopaths or just plain nasty, arrogant, or even plain evil. Yet the most accurate and complete description of the characteristics of these people is to be found within a spiritual context. This particular spirit, though only one of many malicious spirits, establishes its stronghold primarily in women. However, many men have been victimized by it as well, where it functions as a controlling spirit. In the wake of every person controlled by the Jezebel spirit is a life of chaos, confusion, instability, broken relationships, and destruction. Every person that ever came into close contact with it has seen aggressive attempts to divide their relationships with their loved ones. While Jezebel's belief system is incorrect, they are very firmly held beliefs. Jezebels are usually people of deep convictions. As mentioned, many people controlled by the Jezebel spirit have a true heart for God and earnestly desire to serve him. The original Jezebel, the spirit's first noteworthy victim, Queen of Israel, was devotedly religious, but was at total enmity with God. She worshipped at the altar of Baal worship of the flesh. Modern day Jezebels may indeed believe they are serving the one true God. However, the true hidden agenda is self-worship. Yo, what's up everybody? What's up, what's up? This is JC, y'all, and I'm back, y'all, with another uh, open videos, and this is the type of message I want to talk to you about alcohol, okay? This is the number two. Okay, just another one, okay? Uh, I got a, uh, some things, words, I'll be missing what I'm saying, okay? And I just go ahead and just do the another message, okay? This is my sister, Panina, y'all. And she's an alcoholism, and she's so gone her mind. She's been through a lot. She followed her feelings and her emotions, and she can't let it go. Every time she called me on the phone, she started drinking, you know what I'm saying? Talk about... Mama this, mama that, mom call her a demon, all all type of craziness, okay? And she talk about she hurt anything, you know, she fought her feelings and she an alcoholic and she gonna do something stupid like that, like beating up people and draw attention all kind of stuff and, and, and do all kind of things, curse people out, all that kind of type of stuff, okay? And I'm I'm just wanna show y'all what an alcohol really operates, how the alcohol really possess her to make her do some crazy things, okay? Now, before I go to this message, if you're not spiritual, you don't understand Jack, okay? Okay? That make her tissy intoxicated, okay? She be saying something she shouldn't say. People trying to be nice to her, and, and now she's talking all this uh, 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 rum talk, okay? And, and you y'all know what that means, okay? She be talking all that grouchy talk. That's the alcohol vodka, okay? She be she overdoing it. She's gone. She drank the whole thing. She ain't even think about be careful how she drank. She ain't think about taking sips. Sometimes she take a sip, but she choose to overdrink it. Now nah, she overdrinking. She was gone. She be she be gone her mind. She be do things stupid, okay? And people trying to slow her down, and I'm trying to slow her down. She get off. And she, she get pissed off, okay?
alcohol is killing you, man. I just let you know, sis. You know, it's killing, it's killing your, uh, your, your, your stomach. You know. Killing me, a lot of people fucking killing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, 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 Be all right, sis. Don't be all right. Don't let him in your house. Forgive him, just don't let him in your house. Okay, what, what, oh, okay, listen, did you talk to Messiah Daddy when, when that happened, did you, you need to tell me nobody helped you, nobody got your back or something, well you gotta leave New Orleans sis, i 
was here. Or I ain't, I ain't. Yeah. Tattoos. Ain't no nigga name on my body. I'm not a new bullshit girl. Ain't a nigga name tattooed on me. I got God tattooed on me. When I went and wanted to get a tattoo, I got God. I wasn't thinking about a nigga. I know you want your family back. I'm sick. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm telling you. I don't even know what I know you don't like family be, family be separate. You know, I don't like it either. I'm going to hear nothing. I'm going to keep it to the issue that everything that nigga going to get me. He already a fucking nobody anyway. That's what happened. That's what the wrong people. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's what the wrong people. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good, man? Um, this is Jonah, y'all, and I'm back y'all with a part two video and another eye opening message. Okay, now on this video in this message, I'm gonna talk about. The, the spirit of Jezebel on on, on, on on people, okay? I'm talking about the, uh, the different spirit of Jezebel on women, okay? Black women, even a white woman, okay? And I'm going to talk, I'm, I'm, I'm especially talking about black women, okay? Because they need to be discussed about because everybody's so afraid to take a stand and speak the truth. So I guess I'm the main one just... Go ahead, just do my best to open up the people's eyes and just share in my thoughts what the evil Jezebel is all about that is in the Bible, okay? I'm going to talk about, you know, Jezebel on people, you know, and I'm going to talk about some different stuff, okay? Jezebel's spirit on women, she don't like, um, um, you know, assisting people, you know what I'm saying? She don't like, like, you know what I'm saying? She don't like assisting everybody. That really means like she don't like helping people, you know what I'm saying? She not like, um, you know, like I say, she don't like helping people. She don't like doing nothing to them, you know what I'm saying? 
and that's a Jezebel spirit on women's okay she don't like helping people and also mm -hmm. she think about herself okay everything is about her weight that's the spirit of Jezebel okay and all to do a part one about how Jezebel really operates okay she's an evil wicked woman okay and that's a Jezebel in the Bible for Old Testament and a New Testament okay She's a very evil, wicked woman. She's a very religious woman. And she calls herself a prophet, but she's not. Okay? She eliminate people. And also, she's a pagan woman. And also, uh, she married to, to the guy named Ahab. Okay? Ahab. Ahab, yeah. I mean, Ahab. All right. Um, I already do a part tell you what Jezebel is all about. I'm going to talk about the spirit of Jezebel but using women's, okay? Now, the Jezebel spirit using women's, like, you know, she control man's, you know, she control his life, like she's authority, okay? Something like you and your wife being in the bed sleeping and she wake you up, she wants you to close that curtains, okay? You get up and close the curtains. And you get back on the bed, she asks you to do something else. She wants you to go take a bath. She wants you to do this. Wants you to do that and all that stuff. And she wants you to um, to buy her a car. Okay, that's the spirit of Jezebel using. Uh, that's the spirit of Jezebel using women to control guys to tell him what to do. Okay, they got some people questioning what JC. What's going to happen? He not doing what she told him to do. I'm glad you asked. Okay. If the man wasn't listening to the female, she will break him up, you know. She will, you know, send him some changes and all that kind of stuff, okay. But, but you know, black women, she loves to fuss, okay. She loves to fuss. She don't, want, she don't want no skills, okay. Like the man trying to tell her what's going on, to, trying to explain to her. She don't want to hear no explain. She don't want to hear no excuses, okay? She don't want to hear nothing. That's the spirit of Jezebel using women. She don't like nobody to correct her. She don't want nobody to explain to her. She don't like that. That's the spirit of Jezebel using black women. Black women, she loves to fuss. She loves to get loud. She like she loves to get hot. She loves to get judged people. She, you know what I'm saying? She want love to control everything, okay? And also... She doing rich crap, like she control people minds. That's the spirit of rich crap, okay? Cause I have a mama like that too. She wanna control everything, okay? Especially she trying to control me. Every time I talk to my mama, she shut me off. She's like shush, 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 shush. I buke you, and in Jesus' name, my mama always buke me. Every time I try to crack her, she don't want me to crack her. She don't want me to tell her nothing. Everything is about her way. Everything all is about her. She think everything is right. She think everything's right. She thinks she's a queen of the world of the majesty. She thinks she is God. That's the spirit of Jezebel using women today. You see what I'm saying? And that's sad. It, and, and you know what I mean? That's sad. You know what I'm saying? This is real, man. You know what I'm saying? If you are the real, true follower of God, if you if you are the seriously walks with God, if you are real, you know exactly what I'm saying. Okay? Because... I'm been through a lot with women, okay? I have a girl, I have an ex-girlfriend like that. She's trying to take control of my life, like she's his authority, okay? And also, I have a family like that, too. You know, my stepmama, she trying to control, she yelling, screaming. <laughs> For real, man, but I, don't really, I really don't want to talk about her, because I know she be listening to my video, she's going to get mad, though. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give you another example, and I'm just go ahead and just show you all the truth about my sister, okay, my, my sister Planina, you know, she from New Orleans, Louisiana, she's an alcoholic, you know, she wants some attention, okay, she wants some attention, she don't want nobody to talk, because every time she talk, she don't want nobody to correct her, okay, why is that, JC, because she thinks she's right, that's a problem with my sister today, she don't want nobody to correct her, she thinks she's right, she thinks she's had a right to say something to manipulate people. That's my, that's my sister. That's my older sister. She's very, she's 35 years old. You know what I'm saying? She's a very beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? But she's an alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? The way I look at my sister, she, 
I can tell she's not an alcoholic, but she was, okay? The demon using her to control people. Yes, she was. <laughs> yes, yes, she is, y'all. Yes, she is. She like you know what I'm saying. Remember, remember I told you, with part one, how my sister really operates. She controlled my uncle. She don't like my uncle talk to her, and she watched the movie. She don't like him talking, watch the movie. You know what I'm saying? He keep on talking. He keep on talking, talking, talking. She go in the store and buy a strong liquor. And if she drinking, she want to fussing at him all night long to call him all type of names and all that stuff. She start to bow him, start yelling at him, call him type of names, talk about you're not my uncle. I hate him and all kind of stuff. She say some very wicked things to my uncle, okay? That's the spirit of Jezebel using my sister, okay? It's just the truth, okay? Some of y'all say, well, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Well, you don't need to believe it. That was in the Bible, okay? Let me tell you this about Jezebel. Jezebel is a very wicked woman. She's from Israel, okay? She's a queen. She 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 calls herself a prophet, you know. She be she be teaching people do the wrong things, okay? I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what I know, okay? Because I'm studying, you know what I'm saying? Every time I'm studying, I keep forgetting. But I'm just telling you, no, Jezebel, she's a she's a female, you know, she's a very beautiful woman, she's evil. And she married to the king named Ahab, okay? She control Ahab like crazy, okay? Ahab is a weak-minded man. Poor, poor we have, okay? She expect him to do everything what she wants him to do, okay? That was in the book of First Kings chapter 21, verse 25, okay? Y'all can read for yourself. She want Ahab to sow her you know, saying to do the wicked stuff against God, okay? That means she don't want Ahab to follow God and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, like I say, she's a she's a very religious woman. She's evil. She's wicked. She got a pride in her, and she backstab her. She killed God's prophet. She killed, She trying to kill Elijah in the Bible. She hate God's truth, okay? She hate God's truth. And she hate God's man, okay? She 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 can't stand the man to be the authority. She don't like that, okay? It's just the truth. She don't like no man to take over authority. She love to take over authority over man. That's what she love. But it's happening in real life. They got a lot of women out there. She love to take authority for anything, okay? She thinks you're going to get away with things. She want to get what she wants for the guy, not him. She get what she wants, and that's it. She don't like nobody complain her. She don't like nobody to control her. She don't like nobody to correct her. Everything is about her. That's what happened with black females today. Everything is about her, okay? Everything is about her way, okay? She respect everything to respect her because her weight okay it's, it's so sad man it's so sad because it's it's hard to explain man it, it's just real man because i've been there you know i've been in a relationship with females like that everything is about her way she expect me to come home on time she looking on people phones and she make sure you know nobody's cheating on her and all that kind of stuff okay she want to make sure she do the she thinks she's right to ruin that man's life. She thinks she got a right to be rude to that guy. And a guy trying to show her love, but she didn't show him love back. You know what I'm saying? She expect that guy to worship her like she's a god, okay? She, the female thinks she's the one, okay? That's what that's what that, that's that's what happened in the world today. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a spirit of Jezebel on different kind of women in this world. She thinks she's number one. She expect the guy to to respect females but it's nothing wrong with respecting her you know saying so you have to respect her but see me personally i don't respect females with a bad attitude no no not me not jonah carew you know what i'm saying i am not respect females with a bad attitude only i respect females with a good heart and a good understand that's the reason why i look at it i respect females got a good heart and good understanding good tension that's the reason why i respect I am not respecting people with a bad attitude. That's not me, okay? Because I'm not 
tolerate the Jezebel spirit on women. Okay, it's just me. Okay, and all they, all they tell you about Jezebel, she's a pagan woman. Okay, she worshiped the idol gods. Okay, all they told you about control. She loved to control. She doing witchcraft. She killed God's people, and she loved lust. She control with people's sex. She do anything. She doing anything in the power to, um, you know, to fuss, organ, cracking, and liberate and disrespect. That's what she loved. She loved to teach people to do the wrong thing, and that was so sad about it. That's I see why God hating Jezebel so much. She trying to get her to repent. All that crap that she be doing, she don't want to repent. She want to continue to do the evil, wrong things. That's the spirit of Jezebel, okay? And I'm just doing my best to just tell y'all the truth about Jezebel. Be honest with you. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I don't know much about Jezebel because ain't nobody telling me the truth about Jezebel. My mama never tell me about Jezebel. My daddy never tell me about Jezebel. My brother and my sister never tell me about Jezebel. Now I'll find out for myself who she really are, okay? Because I don't know much about Jezebel. I study. I do some research. I look in the Bible. And, I, and, and, and God just opened up my eyes and see what's going on, why they got a spirit of Jezebel on, on people. And I got, you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. This is so scary. Jezebel's spirit is very, very, very dangerous, man. Powerful. And very powerful. The stuff is real, man. This stuff is real, man. If you already seriously walk with God, if you know what's exactly I'm, what I'm coming from, you should know it, man. Okay? And... Yes, man. They got some women's. Yeah, they got some women's like that, man. It's just ridiculous. They got some women's like that. You know why? What is it, Jay Z? They got a spirit of Jezebel be using women's try to control everything. She do any power to fuss, to cuss, to criticize, to 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 uh, um to fornication, to idolatry. You know what I'm saying? To to uh to be the drama. You know what I'm saying? Criticizing, bitter, envious, and hate and lust. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit of Jezebel with different women. Women love to have a nasty attitude. She don't want nobody to tell her nothing. She don't want nobody correcting her. That's the spirit of Jezebel. And all of a sudden, she don't like she don't like assisting people. Okay? She don't like assisting people. Like 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 people like say like I'm trying to tell my baby some hey can you do the uh can you help someone to show the house she say hell no I'm not helping them that's the spirit of Jezebel I'm just I'm just showing you okay um I'm gonna tell you some else what type of spirit we use in women's okay uh the spirit of Jezebel we use in women's to you know assisting other people like no no like adduce, inducing people like. They, they want the guy to give her attention, okay? I'm sorry, I, don't, I shouldn't say assisting. She like producing guys. She want the guys to give her attention, something, okay? And the guy, majority of guys, they don't want to give her attention. She get mad, she want to destroy the man. That's the spirit of Jezebel, okay? And, um, and also, the spirit of Jezebel using women, she don't like nobody say no. And they were so sad to say this, man. She don't like nobody say no. And she's trying to ask him to do something. And he don't want to do it. She will destroy him. She will probably, you know, send someone to destroy him. Like, send somebody to kill him. And let somebody break into his house and, and kill him and destroy his family. That's the spirit of Jezebel, okay? If y'all think I'm lying, I'm going to go ahead and just give y'all the scriptures. Y'all can read for yourself, okay? Because I'm doing what I can just explain to y'all how really Jezebel evil spirit all about. Be using black women, okay? Black women, man. Majority of black women, they love to fuss. They love to have a nasty attitude. They love to fight and be a pride. You know? She loved to buy weak. You know? And she loved to be over the door with a man. And she loved to pay, uh, put guys in child support. She loved to cheat. She liked to confuse guys. She loved to be mean to that guy, you know what I'm saying, she loved to be a bossy, okay, that's the spirit of Jezebel using black women, they got women too, they got white women like that too, yes, but 
Jason, what is the worstest one? I'm glad you asked. It's black women. It's black women. Black women is the worstest one I ever met. That's the spirit of Jezebel using black women in a full time, non-stop. That evil, dangerous Jezebel spirit you using black women non-stop in a big time. This is real, man. Y'all people need to wake up and start. Y'all need to stop living in a damn fairy scene land, man. Stop living a fairy tale, man. This is real, man. That was all in the Bible, man. Y'all think I'm crazy. Hey, go to the book of, man, 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 man. Go to the First Kings chapter 18, verse 4. Go to First Kings chapter 21, verse 5 and 16. And also, go to First Kings chapter 16, verse 29 to 31 to 33. Second Kings chapter 9, verse 22 to 30 to 37. Go to the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 20. Also, go to the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Okay? And let God just show you things. If you are a, a spiritual person, you will get this. Okay? I'm trying to explain to you the best I can. Okay? Um, first thing this. I got more, okay? You got evil Jezebel spirit be using teachers to to control students too, okay? Jezebel spirit control the church also. Yes, there was. Control church, control the jobs, control the court. They control the whole world, man. Jezebel's evil wicked spirit to do anything in the power, man. You know, you know Jezebel, she doing rich crap. To do any power to do anything to destroy each other. Jezebel's spirit wants y'all to hate each other. Yes, it was. Narcissism, same thing too. Narcissism spirit that makes y'all hate one another, to be jealous of one another. Every time one of your family members got a boyfriend, girlfriend, they be jealous. I have the same problem too. Every time me and my old lady love each other. Me and my old lady always love each other. One of her evil, wicked, demonic family members being jealous. It's so sad, y'all. My baby mama, wicked family, so jealous of me so bad, man. You know why? What is it, JC? Because they never have a good man like me. My goodness, y'all. <laughs> My goodness. They talk about Jonah did this. Jonah did that. Darius, I don't want you around Jonah. Jonah had another girl. Jonah... Jonah did this. Jonah, Jonah got AIDS. Jonah, Jonah married. Jonah got another child in Texas. Oh, Jonah, Jonah fat. Jonah, Jonah, he cheesy and fat. Jonah, Jonah ugly. That's a spirit of Jezebel and Northern spirit on a family. And a family don't even know they got a spirit of Jezebel. Now they got a spirit of Jezebel on her mama. They got another Jezebel spirit on her sister. Because sister, she trying to control everything she trying to control my son not to listen to my videos she trying to burn wash my son talk about your dad is a b your dad is a hoe your daddy don't do nothing for you all type of stuff left or right left or right and also my baby mama's sister tell her younger sister not to listen to my videos left or right they told her younger sister to block me out my facebook and also she listened to her sister her Danielle trying to control her sister and my son's life. And also they tell my they tell they tell her sister not to show my son no love. My goodness. That's the spirit of witchcraft being used in her. That's the spirit of Jezebel and Northern Spirit. I know what it is now. I know it. I'm just thank God for the most high Yeshaya to show me things what's going on. That's right. I know what's going on. That's the spirit of Jezebel. That's right. That's a spirit of Jezebel using her to tell her not to listen to my videos, to block me and diaries out my page. That's the spirit of Jezebel because Jezebel, she don't like the truth, the word of God. See how sad it is, y'all? And that's the spirit using my baby mama family. I know it. They don't know it. They don't know they got a spirit in them. And I know it. God just showed me all type of stuff was going on. That's the reason why 
I, 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 that's the reason why I get away from that people. I get away. And I got to get away from my family too. I got to get away from my mom. I got to get away from my family because the majority of my family, my fiance family, got a spirit, evil spirit, Jezebel spirit in them. I got a, I got a right to get away with them. Okay? I had to walk in the spirit. Let me say, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. If you are the seriously with walks with God, you got to serve a person got a Jezebel spirit because I don't want y'all attacked by the Jezebel spirit. Because Jezebel spirit, they will attack y'all. They make, they, they're trying to control your mind. They're trying to convince you to think you as a devil, okay? They're trying to convince you as a devil, especially at church. I'm telling you, if you if you if you trying to go up high level with God, people will hate you. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, people will hate y'all. The people think you crazy. People think you a devil. People think you a false prophet. That's the spirit of Jezebel. That stuff is real, man. I, man, I know what's going on. My mama called me the devil and all that kind of stuff, man. Just because I'm doing video, speak the truth. My mom tell me I'm not a mature. Just because I'm doing video, please speak the truth. My mama and my uh, my baby mama's sister that talk about me talk about I'm not a mature enough. Talk about I don't know how to take care of myself. I don't know how to take my responsibility. That's the spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel to do any and any power to criticize God's people. Jezebel spirit, demon spirit, they do anything trying to and turn you down. They're trying to turn you down to make you sad, to make you give up. That's right. Now you got a wife. She she wants you to give up. That's the spirit of Jezebel using your wife to make the husband to give up and keep on let the um, wife to control his life and he ain't gonna do nothing. That stuff is very real, man. That's the spirit of Jezebel. The evil Jezebel spirit. They do any power. Let the woman to be over the Dorothy and also she don't want no man. To tell her nothing. And also she don't like no man. To tell her no. All she like. The man to say yes. And that was so sad y'all. It's so sad man. I already give you all the scriptures. You know. I want to read to y'all. But I have a problem reading man. It doesn't mean like I don't read it all. I'm just telling y'all what I know. God will show me this what's going on. They got a Jezebel, a Jezebel spirit on people in this world, man. Not just one world, all over the world. They got Jezebel spirit on United States. They got Jezebel spirit on Canada. They got a Jezebel spirit on Africa, Nigeria, Texas, Louisiana, especially Louisiana. Louisiana is the worst part, man, because I'm from Louisiana. I, I'm born in Charity Hospital. I know what's going on in my hometown. They got a lot of Jezebel spirit on women and a, and a man, too. They got some man to control women. Come on. They got some man to control women. They got some man to do the same thing. He get what he wants. That's the spirit of Jezebel. But the brothers out there, they got the spirit of Ahab. You know why? What is it, Jason? Because may high spirit on guys to let the woman control his life. And that was so sad. That's the spirit of Ahab using that brother. That's right, man. Y'all can look at me crazy all you want. I really don't care, man. I'm just doing God's, meal, uh, God's will in my life. This the part two, man. Jezebel, demon spirit, using any women's. They're using women's at church. Uh, a Christian. They're using women's, you know. It's, you know what I'm saying? The, the Jezebel spirit, they're using Christian women, Israelite, the Christianity. And also, the court, like somebody going to court. They got a mean judge. Okay, the Jezebel spirit, they're using mean judge to control anybody. Everybody silence. Everybody be quiet. Everybody need to shut up. Bloom, bloom. Bloom, bloom. Everybody need to shut the hell up. That's the spirit of Jezebel using judge and a teacher and a jobs. Okay, let me let me give you a more example about the jobs. Something like I know a lot of y'all people got jobs. Some of people work on McDonald's, some of people work on Popeyes and all that kind of stuff. If y'all late for work, you get fussed at by the supervisor. The supervisor, they fuss at you like crazy, man. They call you a type of name. That's the spirit of Jezebel. That's right, man. Scary, man. Jezebel's spirit is very, 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 very dangerous, man. 
And now they got a spirit. They're using parents to fuss at their kids, man. They fuss at them, cuss them out, call it a B word. You're a punk. Sh shut your punk ass up. I'll smack the F out of them. Yeah, they got some parents like that, man. Especially black parents. Black parents control the kids, cuss at them, call it a B word. Sit your, stop crying on a little bitch. Come here, little bitch. Pow, whip the hell out of them, smack them on the face, punch them on the face, beat them on all kind of stuff. Yeah, they got some evil parents do that to the children. Man, I've seen them all, y'all. And see me, man, my mama never cursed me out. My mom never called me my name. My mom never called me a bitch and all that kind of stuff, man. My mama never called me that. My daddy was. My daddy, he cussed me out sometimes. My uncle, he called me a punk. You know what I'm saying? He called me a punk. He called me all type of names. He put hot sauce in my face. And I was a 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? He called me on my name. He trying to control me, man. He got a spirit of Jezebel. He's damn himself. Don't get me wrong. I have an uncle. He got a control spirit in him, too. Just like women's, man. Oh, yeah. But he died, y'all. That's the spirit of Jezebel, man. And I'm just... I, and I just, you know, for real, man. I had to do this video, man, about the Jezebel demon spirit be using a lot of women to destroy a man. And women, she thinks she do everything in the power, control everything. She thinks she had a right to make the fun of the guys, to spend, uh, uh, to, uh, to make the buy, uh, to make the guy to spend the money on her. And he don't want to do it. He if she break up with him, go to the next guy. They got some women's like that. She loves to hurt people feeling. She likes to hurt guys feeling. You know why? What is it, Jay-Z? Because majority of females got a Jezebel spirit. She's a rebellion woman. She don't like to listen. You know what I'm saying? She pouting. She pry. You know? She like uh, be respectful. Don't want to listen. She talk about she don't want to hear no excuses. That's the spirit of Jezebel. And she don't like nobody tell her what to do. That's the spirit of Jezebel. And she don't like nobody say no. She like everybody say yes. She wants some attention. She produce people to hurt people. To get what they want. No, no, to get what she wants. That's the spirit of Jezebel. That stuff is very real. That stuff is very dangerous, y'all. I'm telling y'all, man. And I'm going to say this one now. Whoever got a Jezebel spirit, let me tell you something. Y'all ladies out there, you got a Jezebel spirit, you need to come out there. I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't get, get the Jezebel spell spirit out of you, you're going to hell. Okay? Because you don't got no right to control your husband. Your husband supposed to be the authority. That was in the Bible. Let your man to be the authority. Okay? Let him do his job, do what he do for you. Let him take care of you. Okay, don't take advantage of your husband like that. Don't do it, man. If you do it, that means you're not father God. You're father Jezebel. Okay, if you want to get rid of this curse, you got to fast and pray and get this Jezebel spell out of you. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all the best I can. Y'all women love to have sex with a guy that needs to stop, man. If you keep doing it, you're going to hell. Choice is yours, man. Stop taking control of everything. Stop putting words on people's mouth like that. Don't do it. Stop having a nasty attitude with guys, man. For real, man. And that's all I got to be saying, man. This is JCR. I'm just doing part two. And I'm going to do another video, part three, about evil Jezebel spirit. I'm going to tell you um, how she died, y'all. And that's all I got to be saying. This is Jonah. Love you guys. I'm out. God bless y'all. Y'all peace. Y'all be cool. Get the Jezebel spirit out of you. I'm telling y'all, because Jesus, the most high Yeshaya, he hate Jezebel so much because he done with the rich crap. And that's all I got to be saying. This is JC, y'all. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's good, man? Um, This is JC, y'all, and I'm back, y'all, with another video. And also another serious eye-opening message, okay? Now, on this message, man, you know, um, 
I'm going to do part three. You know how Jezebel died, okay? And y'all need to, you know what I'm saying, need to hear this and understand this, why she got killed, okay? And I already told you, Jezebel in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, okay? And I, look, I know uh, majority of y'all people know what a Jezebel is. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? And then they got some other people don't even know what Jezebel is, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, just tell y'all what Jezebel operates, okay? I already tell y'all she's an evil, wicked woman, okay? She, she's a good woman. She worshiped the uh, idols of God called Baal, okay? And also, she killed God's people, is a prophet. And also, she called herself a prophet, okay? She's a very rebellious woman. She hate, she hate, uh, you know what I'm saying? She hate other good things. She just love evil. She was born with witchcraft. She's lust. And she's a very messy and she just looked everything for kill. And also, she married to the king named Ahab, okay? And y'all already know what Jezebel is, okay? Jezebel used to walk with earth like, like Christ, okay? She used to walk in flesh just like us, okay? She's a queen, okay? She's a queen of Israel, all right? She's beautiful, but she's evil. She's sick, demonic woman. Okay, she don't like repenting. She don't she don't uh um she don't she don't like forgiveness. She hate and also she's selfish and she childish, okay? And also she foolish and unbelief, envious, jealousies, and I already say it's lust, okay? So I already told you who Jezebel is, okay? I'm not talking about the spirit demon of Jezebel. I'm talking about the Jezebel on the uh, used to walk with flesh, okay? And she's murderer, okay? She's a murderer, evil woman, okay? She's a daughter of the devil, okay? She's a daughter of the devil, okay? And um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you the chapter. Go to the uh, Second Kings chapter nine, verse thirty to 37 and I'm gonna just go ahead and just show y'all when she's got killed okay and I'm gonna tell you what the guy really is who killed Jezebel I think his name is Zorm okay is Z-I-M-R-I -I, okay you can look that up for yourself okay it gotta be him killing Jezebel okay just uh, it gotta be the one guy or two guy I'm not sure okay you can look that up for yourself because I just read the Bible on my phone, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got no Bible with me because I don't got no King James Version, okay? King James Version, man, they give you true information. Not a Holy Bible, okay? King James Version, okay? That's the true King Version. If some of y'all got a King Version Bible, you know it. It's true, okay? All right. Um, And I'm going to go ahead and just talk about this for a minute because I don't think I'm doing long videos, okay? So, Jezebel... You know, she put makeup her face. You know, she's an evil, wicked queen, okay? I already tell you about it, okay? She's the one. She eliminate people. She the one be a bossy over the man, over her husband, take her authority. She don't like, you know, she don't like man to take her authority. She like herself to take her authority, okay? I already tell you part one and part two, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just talk about it for a minute, how she got killed, okay? She put makeup her face. And this guy named Zora just go to the castle, okay? Go to the castle. And and Jezebel said, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? But he not really tell her. You know, they got so many people behind her and all that kind of stuff. So they finna destroy her, okay? They push her out the window. All blood all over on the, on the, on the on ground, on the wall, okay? That was in the Bible. Y'all can read for yourself, okay? And now Jezebel... She got fed by the animal, okay? So animal, dogs, ghosts, they, they eat her flesh, okay? You can read for yourself. It's in the Bible, okay? Now, I'm trying to explain this the best I can. You know, I have a power of reading, but I can read, but y'all can, can, can see for yourself, okay? She's an evil, wicked woman, okay? So don't even feel sorry for Jezebel. Jezebel is evil, okay? I'm telling y'all, Jezebel is evil, 
Now she died. Now she became a spirit. Okay? Y'all can read for yourself. I'm not making things up, so I just let y'all know, you know, how Jezebel died. Okay? And I already told you who Jezebel really is. She's a queen of, uh, of Israel. Okay? She's a daughter of the devil. She was born with witchcraft. Okay? She, she married a uh, guy named Ahab. Okay, he's a weak-minded man. He opened a door for, for her to take over him, you know, to assist him to do what she called him to do, okay? She control his life like crazy, okay? That's how majority of the women in the world do, trying to take control of her life. Then, then she's a leader of the world, okay? So Jezebel, she's a, she's a very deucing person. She was since people. No, 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 nothing. She's a very producer person. Like she, like she do, she be deuce man. You know what I'm saying? She don't like nobody say no. And you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous and just sad though. So, and I'm gonna do the part four, okay? And I gotta shut this video off and just look it up for yourself, okay? Those of you know who the Jezebel is, you know exactly where I'm coming from, okay? Those of you all know who the Jezebel is, look it up online. You can look it up on an image, okay? You can see it for yourself, okay? You um, you can look it up online how she got killed, or you can look it up Jezebel Demon Spirit, okay? Because Jezebel Demon Spirit is very, very, very real. Is a very, very dangerous, okay? If you are the seriously walks with God, if you're certain about the Jezebel Spirit on your family, you got to be paired. And you got to be ready because because you got some Jezebel spirit detect God's people. It sure was. It sure was. So don't be afraid. And you just have to be aware with the spirit. Because Jesus say, I mean, Yeshaya say, test the spirit. Okay? So that's all I got to be saying, man. I'm going to do part four. I'm out, y'all. Y'all be cool. Peace. Hi everyone, um, I'm off today, except I'm going to be busy today, I'm meeting up with some of the bodies, uh, sisters, I'm sorry, the sisters in Christ, and we're going to be helping some people out today, volunteering, stuff like that, and before I do that, of course, I'm going to clean up and make dinner and stuff, but um, as you notice the title of the video, it's called uh, Jezebel, well, you can see the title right there, it's about the Jezebel spirit. And I just want to go over a few things that maybe you might not know about the Jezebel spirit as a whole because I already have videos on this entity in the description box. I mean, in the video archive. The reason why I say that the spirit is active in these last days, and again, please accept my apology for the beeping sound. Um, as I told you all in my last video, I'm supposed to get that new alarm system. It's supposed to be tomorrow. So, so far it's still on schedule. Anyway, um, as I was going back to what I'm saying, the reason why I say that the spirit is active is because, um, I'm noticing a lot of people, not a lot, not you guys, but a majority of people, and it's their choice at the end of the day, you know what I mean, are still listening to um, a lot of these false prophets and uh, false pastors, you name it. The only way a Jezebel spirit can get someone to continue to listen to them is when they do attention-getting tactics. Um, Jezebel, like I said, will play on your sympathy they will manipulate you. They will give you the guilt trip either into giving them money or um, getting others to attack you to make you feel bad because you expose them. Even when you have good intentions. So, for example, um, you might be attempting to correct someone, whoever it is, in love. And when you try to correct them and you have scripture to back it up, um, God says in the word that we have to humbly accept correction and I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures that shows that 
So I'm not going to get too much into the Jezebel spirit because I have archives that talks about the spirit in detail. But I'm just going to take you to... Uh, let me make sure I have the right version, first of all, before I take you to it. It's in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. It says, Hear counsel and receive instruction. Thou mayest be wise in thy better end. So if you are being corrected and you hear that counsel, you take that to Jesus in prayer to see if it is true. And if it's true, then you gained wisdom according to the scriptures. Okay? God looks upon you with grace and love if you accept correction. But if you refuse correction and you scorn it, you're an abomination in God's eyes and it's actually a sin if you refuse correction. Um, and if you tell the truth out of God's word, you'll be called all kinds of names like I am. I had some demon of Satan, excuse the expression, come on my channel and they know who they are, basically defending uh, Paul Begley and Anita Fuentes, two frauds I exposed, and other watchmen as well saying that we watchmen were witches for exposing them. So this person wasn't just calling me that, they were calling the watchmen that. And, you know, obviously they have a Jezebel spirit and they, they have scales over their eyes, they're blind, they can't see the truth. Usually individuals that are blind like that do not adhere to sound doctrine. And I'm going to show you a scripture on that. You could please bear with me a second. I'm going to show you that right now, and then we're going to move on because there's some other things I want to tell you about the Jezebel spirit in case I haven't uh, covered this. Now it was prophesied by Jesus Christ in the Word, according to Second Timothy chapter four, verse three. Um, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So these these people that follow these Jezebel spirits, these false prophets, will get mad at you if you try to uh, correct them in love. If you try to show them truth, they will get mad. Because they don't want to adhere to sound doctrine like it says in 2 Timothy. They want to adhere to um, seducing spirits, to the Jezebel spirits that they're used to. So when you try to correct somebody in love... They're going to get upset with you, and they will even go as far as trying to attack you, attack your reputation. They'll go as far as trying to turn others against you, and sometimes it'll work. If you're not careful, or if the, if the people that are listening to this Jezebel are not careful, they can literally use those individuals to attack the watchman. So they'll go as far as trying to slander you, make attack videos about you, false videos. They'll mock you. You know, a false mocking spirit. They'll mock you in the videos when, you know, it's not Christ-like. You know, God says in the Word, okay, that um, he mocks the wicked. And I'm going to show you scriptures on that. And that's, that's a righteous type of mockery when um, an individual is defending the body of Christ. And I'm not saying go ahead and insult them and take pleasure in it. You know what I'm saying? Um... But what I'm trying to say to you all, if you're defending the body of Christ, even Jesus Christ called the Pharisees vipers. He insulted them because he was defending. He was standing bold for the faith and he was defending the body of Christ. So when you're defending the body of Christ and righteousness, you are not committing a sin. But if you are, you know, receiving correction from a watchman and you're mocking them and you're embarrassing them and you're attacking them, that is a sin. According to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 9, starting there, it says, uh, Fools may mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into it. Uh, the heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. Okay? Now, I'm going to take you to another scripture. If you could please bear with me a second. Like when I did the video the other day and I showed proof about how Rahab, um, the king, 
King Jericho asked the Rahab, who was a prostitute, where were the two spies? According to Joshua chapter 2. And she hid them and she basically told them she didn't know where they were. Wouldn't you say that she told a lie to protect the body of Christ? She told a lie for righteous reasons? People still come at me saying they don't get it. So put yourselves in these two spies' shoes. And King Jericho asked these two spies, where are the Israelites? Would you tell him where the Israelites are so that way he can slaughter you and the Israelites and kill everyone? Or would you lie to protect them even if you're putting yourself at risk? Think about that for a second. Okay, if you go to Psalms chapter 27 verse 13. It says right there, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The Lord's talking about the wicked. Okay? If you also go to Psalms chapter 2 verse 4, he who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He's talk the Lord, it's talking about the Lord scoffing at the wicked. Psalms chapter 59 verse 8. But you, O Lord, laugh at them. You scroll at all the nations. Okay. I'm also going to take you to Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 25. And you, O slain, wicked one, the prince of Israel, whose day has come as a time of punishment of the end. In other words, the wicked will not prosper forever. Everything has a season. I'm not trying to take this out of context, but I'm telling you guys, okay, that the Jezebel spirit will attack you in any way, shape, or form when you're trying to correct him or her. You will be that person's number one enemy. That person, the Jezebel, is a controlling spirit. Here's what I also want to tell you as well. When a Jezebel is trying to manipulate you and play on your sympathy, they will also go as far as showing you personal insights in their life. Not all people do that, okay? You might have a regular person that may tell you a little bit of something personal about their life. Doesn't mean they're trying to play on your feelings. No, I don't mean that. Believe me, there's a way you can tell the difference because when a Jezebel spirit is doing it, there's a twist, and that twist is deception. So what I'm telling you guys is that the Jezebel spirit, when they are wrong and they are exposed, they will play on your sympathies by pulling attention tactic or attention getting tactic one after the other. They'll pull stunts like that. They, when they're being corrected, they will attack the watchman and get others to do their dirty work too. And they will make an attack video on that watchman and falsely accuse them. The Jezebel spirit is a false accuser of the brethren. The Jezebel spirit calls the watchman accuser of the brethren. The watchmen that do God's will are not an accuser of the brethren. If they accuse, they accuse in truth. They accuse false prophets correctly. Okay, the one that is a false accuser of the brethren is the devil. And these Jezebel spirits are of their father, the devil. Jesus called them vipers, you know, the spirits of Pharisee. Because in the Bible, the Pharisees were concerned about the miracles Jesus was performing. They were concerned because they said that they, were con they didn't want the Romans to take their position away and give it to Jesus Christ. The, the Pharisees apparently enjoyed being priests, so they called themselves because they were fake to the core and they enjoyed the glory of man when the glory of man goes to Jesus Christ alone these Jezebels do the same thing and I'm going to I'm gonna say something to you ladies and gentlemen as a reminder before I end this broadcast okay Jezebel is a witchcraft spirit and is a very if you're not careful, it's a very powerful spirit nothing is impossible by Jesus Christ the blood of the lamb, Jesus Christ who is God, overcomes all. But what I'm saying to you all is, is that the Jezebel spirit is a spell-binding witchcraft spirit that will get you under his or her snares. 
The Jezebel spirit, okay, is a type of spirit that goes dormant at times. When it is in uh, the host, meaning the person that it is possessing, it'll try to integrate its personality with that individual so you, the watchman, will not be able to detect them and so that it'll try to manipulate you, the watchman. That's why you got to be careful. That's why you need discernment and the Holy Spirit will guide you in such a manner. I also want to remind you, okay, I know that many people fall on hard times. I get it. And this is your choice to make. But if you have people asking you for money on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, claiming that they have something going on in their life, do not feel guilty or wrong. And do not think you are being wrong for asking that person for proof. Or if they have something, you know, so that way you know where your money's going to. If they have something going on in their life, no matter who the person is, and let's say, like I had someone, um, I'm not going to give you her name. I'm just going to say her first name is uh, Nancy. And uh, I have an account on Daily Motion, And she put out a video saying that she needed help because her mom is sick. Her mom has medical bills. So I told her, well, why don't you give me the name of the hospital? And I'll send a check straight there. And then she goes, now, I was communicating with her via email. She goes, you don't trust me? I said, I don't trust anyone, not even you. I only trust Jesus Christ. It says in the words to trust only Jesus, but I'd be happy to help. I'll send whatever I can straight to, your, straight to the hospital on behalf of your mom. That's what I said. I never heard from her again. Big red flag. Big red flag when someone's asking you for money and they're not giving you proof. You have a right to ask. Don't ever let anyone guilt you into giving money your heart earn on your heart earn money when you could take that money and help the homeless, the sick, the elderly, the disabled, the weak in your area. You can volunteer at a soup kitchen, at the Salvation Army, at a hospital. Give your time, even if it means spending time. Like in my area, there's this nursing home where you could volunteer to spend your afternoon with a senior citizen. That means a lot to them. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. The Jezebel spirit is prowling like Satan, looking, looking who to devour next. And I keep you all in my prayers. For the Bible said that he that cometh to God must come believing that he is. Hello, everyone. My name is Ashriel King. And what I want to talk with you guys today about is how to watch out or signs that you're dealing with the Jezebel spirit. Now, this is a big, big one to look out for, especially for Christians. Because this spirit is very dangerous. Very dangerous and it operates in secrecy. It doesn't want you to, like the devil, it doesn't want you to know that it exists within the person, but it operates there. Right, it needs a host. And it's very interesting because looking back, and even today, I see very clear signs that I'm dealing with somebody who or various people where this demonic spirit dwells within and it's one of the highest the highest in terms of it's like Satan's general Satan's lieutenant whatever you want to call it And it's very dangerous. At the same time, it is no match, no match for the power of Jesus, right? Believers can cast out this demon just like that. But you have to have that faith. Otherwise, you just no match yourself, you know what I mean? Without Christ, this Jezebel spirit will devour you like a roaring lion. <laughs> and I've experienced that myself. 
very manipul very manipulative, very manipulative. Even though they may not appear to be manipulative, they are very manipulative. Little white lies that when you catch them out on, they can twist round and turn round to the point where it can confuse you, right? They love to create confusion within your life if you're close to them. Also, very narcissistic. Have you ever met somebody who's extremely narcissistic? Right, all they do is talk about themselves. Themselves, 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 themselves. They don't, they don't even take into consideration what you have to say. They just love to talk about themselves. <laughs> That's all they do all day long. They see themselves in such high regard. It's very interesting because I've like I said, I've come into contact with many of these spirits, well, persons, people, where this spirit is operating within them so freely. Very narcissistic. That's a big one. Look out for that. Right, they expect loyalty. They expect respect. <laughs> they expect your respect, even when it's not earned. They expect your loyalty, even when it's not earned. They treat you like scum. Not all of them, but that's a big one to watch out for. And if this spirit is dwelling within the females, it becomes even more obvious because they hate the idea of male leadership within the church. They hate the idea that Jesus is the Son of God. They hate the idea of God being the Father. <laughs> Jezebel. Watch out for Jezebel. They always talk about the divine, the woman, the woman divination. They always talk about how, they may even talk about how the women can be the leaders of the race, <laughs> women being the leaders of the race. They love to promote that idea. They're probably behind the feminist movement, which has destroyed a lot of people's lives, right? A lot of women would agree that they're not happy. Especially feminists. Look how some feminists act. They're acting so brutal in this society. I'm all for equality. I'm all for that. But what feminists are pushing isn't really equality. It's superiority when you look closely. I'm not saying all feminists have the Jezebel spirit, but I believe the leading ones behind this actual movement, yes, Jezebel will be there. Research it for yourself anyway, the Jezebel spirit, and see if you can see symptoms, traits, within people who may be close to you that match, because I've seen many. And you can't be nicey-nicey with this spirit, because it's not going to be nicey-nicey with you. Right, on the surface, they may appear to be very spiritual, very loving, very kind, even more so than a lot of Christians. That's the trick, that's the deceit, it's all a deception. Right, Satan only knows how to deceive and lie, cheat. And this spirit can operate within people without, the, without this person's knowledge. That's how sneaky they are. And again, you can't be nicey-nicey because this spirit does not care about you, even though they may appear to. All they want to do is devour you. People with Jezebels, and it can be male and female, but people where this spirit is roaming free within, look at their track record when it comes to relationships or marriages. <laughs> Just look at it. I remember once I was in this relationship, very, very short, with this one woman, and she would just attack me for no reason, right? Just straight up go crazy. She would always try and pick stuff, pick her stuff within me. She would always, she would always be in the right, 
even though I could see blatantly that her life was falling apart. But she didn't want to accept it. When I came along, she drew me close to her. I was seduced, basically. They're very good at seduction. They're very good at seduction. <laughs> they can draw you in with how they look. They may appear very beautiful, again, on the outside. But when you get to the very core, there's nothing there but anger, hate, and anything but love, right? Anything but love is at the very core of this spirit. It's not pleasant, not pleasant to deal with whatsoever. And again, I've had my experience, male and female, right? When it's in a male, <laughs> uh, there's no need for me to name any names, but I've seen how it operates within the male as well. And it's very, very similar. Right, the male is very narcissistic, loves to talk about himself, loves to look at himself in high regard. But when you look closer at the core, is a very, very broken, broken man. Very broken. Same thing as in the woman. You look at the very core and there's a very broken female there. Even though they're pushing like they're this super strong woman, the Jezebel is holding these people in bondage. Right, you're not dealing with the person here. You're dealing with the spirit most of the time. The person may not even be there. Every time you interact with them, you'll be interacting with the Jezebel spirit. And it's very easy to, for a Jezebel to take hold of somebody like this, especially if they don't have Christ in their life. Especially if they've had a traumatic experience in their past. That's usually how demons get in. When the person has been broken down, mentally, spiritually, physically, And as Christians, we need to be wary, right? Because, again, the spirit is not pleasant. It's not nice. It's anything but nice. It may draw you in with nice words, nice feelings, seduction, presence, gifts. On the outside, they may appear to be very spiritual, very loving. They may appear to even submit to Christ, submit to the Almighty. <laughs> but they, you can't really see how they have been. You can't really see how they have done, you know, because they don't go to church. And if they do, it's only to break the church down from the inside. So watch out. That's all I'm saying. Jezebel is feisty. Right, there's no... There's no remorse within this spirit. Because when you're dealing with these demons, Like I said, it's like a roaring lion. Even though they may appear to be very nicey-nicey on the outside, when you look behind the eyes, get closer to the core, you will see nothing but hate, anger. They can also be very mocking, especially when it comes to Christ and God. Oh, you're a Christian? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? <laughs> very mocking. I thought you were a Christian. I thought you were all loving. You don't have love within you. They may constantly try and confuse you with words. They may even be able to, they probably will be able to recite the scriptures better than you. And that can cause a lot of confusion within Christians. Do not listen to this spirit. The Lord says, do not speak to these demons. He even says, do not interact with them. Because our minds are very faulty as human beings. We can fall prey to sin so easily especially without Christ. We just need to stay wary and pray for these people behind closed doors. Pray. It's very draining to interact with somebody with a Jezebel spirit. I've experienced that many times. It's just like talking to a brick wall. <laughs> a brick wall. You won't get any, you won't get anything, even though they may appear to give you an inch. They've not given you anything. It's all a manipulation tactic. And if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. Take a mile. They may do things to make you feel guilty. 
They may even appear as the victim. <laughs> On several occasions when the opposite is the case. Just be very wary. It's a very clever spirit, but when it comes against Christ, there's no match. So there's no fear there. No fear. In the blood of the Jesus Christ, you can cast out this spirit just like that. But just be very wary not to interact so deeply. And again, not to be nicey-nicey. This is a demonic spirit, guys. The Bible says we wrestle not against blood and flesh, but against principalities and powers. Right, the power, the principalities and powers of the Jezebel spirit is very real. And it exists within people today. It's a sad truth, but it's the truth. And I've seen it with my own eyes. On multiple occasions, in man and woman, all we can do is pray and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to help because we can't do anything without him. Just a few signs for you to watch out for because Jezebel is very, very clever. Very clever. This spirit knows its time is close. Soon they will be cast into the eternal pits of hell for eternity. And that's something they do not like to hear. They don't like to hear Jesus' name. They don't like to be commanded in the name of Jesus. They hate all of that stuff. <laughs> oh. Crazy. There is a spiritual warfare going on right now for your soul and mine. We battle with these principalities every day. Every day. Every day we can be tempted. Every day sin is knocking at our door, saying, come in, can we come in? <laughs> and we, in the name of Jesus Christ, must cast it out. Yes, we may stumble along the way, right? Nobody, again, nobody, on this planet is guilt free of sin nobody Christian or non-Christian well especially non-Christians but you know what I'm talking about we all fall short of the glory of God there is no good works no good amount of things you can do on this planet to help human beings that is going to help God it's, <laughs> he's giving us a free gift a free gift of salvation just by simply submitting to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that is the only way. It's a free gift. I'm just like, why not take it? Why go through all of this to please people on this planet? Because Jezebel loves to be adored. Watch out for that. They love to be adored. They love to be held in high regard by their peers. They love to preach about love, peace, harmony, unity. But it's all false. Right? The world can hold hands together. The world can be in peace. Right? We can create peace on this planet by us humans coming together in the name of humans, <laughs> which is humanism, basically, another false religion. But the wicked will still be destroyed. Right? God's wrath will still spill out onto the earth regardless. So no, no amount of peace that we can generate is going to help. Right, there's no such thing as world peace. There can only be peace through Jesus Christ. Only he can restore peace on this planet. And that's what he will do one day. He will create the heavens on earth. But it's not gonna be through our works. We, not, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that without him. So don't listen to Jezebel. Do not listen. Her words are only poison. And they can infect even the, even the most committed of Christians can be affected. You know, that's how they get into the church. Churches have been broken down and infiltrated by these demonic spirits. So be wary, again, can't say it enough, be very wary and watch out. <laughs> Call upon the Lord for strength. You can't do it by yourself, guys. We can't do it alone. God bless. Come on, everybody. Let's call Jesus. Uh, 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see this troll right here? She has Michael Williams as her name. I don't know how she has Michael Williams as her name and she's Asian. Anyway, um, this person, I don't even know her. She's been stalking me for the past, I want to say, two years. She follows a false prophet by the name of Rachel, Sheriff of Rachel Loves the Lord. And she also follows another Satanist by the name of Pastor Dave Zacker. Um, you know, this whole fiasco that was going on. And they were saying, oh, I have all these channels. And she's a liar. Um, she obviously got her information from Rachel Sheriff and Pastor Dave Zacker, who are two known false prophets. And uh, obviously she was working in cahoots with uh, the other false prophet, Daniel A. Morales, who for some crazy reason thinks he's Jewish when he's not. Anyway, um, see how she slanders me in these videos? All total lies. Same thing. Oh, she's got all these channels. And she's displaying my personal information when I gave her no uh, permission. That's known as doxing. So I hope she understands that. I just want to show you these four videos that I already backed up. Okay, I forwarded to other watchmen on the wall that they're making it viral. Because that's known as slander and cyberbullying. Okay, this is slanderous information because, again, she has no proof about all of these channels. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not about drama. That's high school stuff. And this person here needs to grow up and stop acting like a kid. I'm going to show you her latest video, and I'm not even going to play it. Um, she also worked in cahoots with another false prophet by the name of Allison Thomas, who is another one that has millions of fake channels. Anyway... I'm going to show you something. She says that I have all these channels. As again, Watch for Jesus 777 is only one channel. And Time Deliverance is only one channel, which you guys know I already have. And I'm not going to go over it again because I don't want you guys getting caught up in drama. These two people, are two, these two watchmen are two different people. So, for some reason... You know, she's on this kick about, oh, she has all these false prophets, she has all these channels, or whatever the case may be. And as you can see, a lot of people disliked her videos. No, they're not dislikes for me, because you know I only have this uh, Watch for Jesus 777, Jesus Loves You All 7. And time deliverance and I told you about a far a fourth backup channel I have that I upload videos on that I keep that backup channel to myself because I don't want it falsely flagged so um this person doesn't even know me she's been stalking me for two years she follows these false prophets okay tell me something would Christ approve of saying this this woman doesn't even know me she does not even know me at all. So this is the name of her channel. So you see, she did another one. Jesus loves you all, lonely and possessed. This person is, forgive me for saying, pretty pathetic. That she has to follow me for two years. And two years she did slanderous video after slanderous video. Which is a lie. And, and look, ladies and gentlemen, again, I am not about drama. I'm not about any of that. I'm just saying that, again... She's in cahoots with all of these false prophets that because they were exposed by various watchmen, including her, she was exposed, they think all of those people are me. And we've already talked about this. We've already gone over it. I'm not going to rehash it, guys, because this is drama, and I'm not going to get into drama. But if the Holy Spirit tells me to speak on a troll, I'm going to do that because she's attacking other watchmen like that, too. She's attacking them in the same manner, okay? Um, she's like all of these false prophets that like to do what is called doxing. Take your email address, make all of these fake channels and say it was you. She likes to do that too, okay? And that's illegal, all right? So this is what the Lord says about slanderers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look up a scripture for you real quick. I'm going to look it up for you real quick. I have my other larger computer here, very free. Okay, so, guys and girls, I don't have time for kitty stuff like this.
she obviously doesn't have much time in her hands. She calls herself a Christian, but she spends one, two, three, four videos back to back trying to slander me. If she's hearing this, she needs to grow up. I really don't care about her little false videos because I know that they're lies. When someone has to attack you this much, they're jealous of you because you are seasoned in the Lord Jesus Christ. You're strong in the Father and they can't stand it. You're doing the will of the Father and Satan can't stand it. You see, Satan has a has a a Christ-like look like this. This woman's a false prophet like the rest of them. So I'm going to take you to some scripture, what the Bible says about slander. Okay? So if you have your Bible, open it up, and I'm just going to give you a few verses. And we'll talk about that. Okay? So Proverbs 19, I'm sorry, Proverbs 10, verse 18. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. So God says in the word, okay, I know you're saying, well, the Bible says if you call someone a fool, you can go to hell. If you bear false witness that someone is a fool, yes, you can go to hell. That's true. But the Bible, which I'm pointing out, the word of God calls a slanderer a fool. So when you are calling a slanderer a fool in that context, when they're slandering you and it's a fact that they're slandering you, you are not going to be condemned for that. You may disagree, that's your opinion. You can disagree, you know, that's why I say to test the spirits. Um, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 16. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you, as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. And then the Bible says when they um, persecute you, like she's persecuting me, God says to rejoice, okay, rejoice in it because you reap your rewards in heaven. If she thinks that she's getting brownie points for this, for this disgusting slander, and she's getting whatever, approval by Jesus Christ, she's not. This person, this individual is a Jezebel spirit. Let me enlarge her image so you can see for yourself. Displaying my personal name Personal information is illegal, okay? Illegal. Jesus says, those are those that call evil good and good evil. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't hurt a fly. I care and love about everybody. Would I defend the innocent? Yes, I will. But this woman, let me just pause her video. You may have expressed yourself or seen another person say things such as Christians are self-righteous, judgmental hypocrites. The statement has truth to it, but also falsehood. First, I think it's good to define the words in the prior statement. Sadly, people misuse words, use later modified definitions, or just make up definitions that suit their own purposes. First of all, we should ask, what is a Christian? The word Christian was invented to describe people who learned and attempted to live the teachings of Jesus the Christ. So if a person does not strive to follow Jesus' teaching, they are not a Christian. They may be saved, but they are not a Christian. So being a Christian is not based on what one believes, but on what one does. When it comes to being self-righteous, defining this phrase is difficult and open to opinion. Webster's Dictionary defines righteous as morally justified. If we put that together with self, it could mean one morally justified according to their opinion. Or, the first thought that I had was the righteousness that comes from one's own labor. This is certainly not why Christians are referred to as righteous. For example, the Apostle Paul said the following about some Israelites. Since they did not know the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own righteousness, they did not submit to God's righteousness. The only reason Christians are righteous is because God gave them his own perfect righteousness as a gift. The gift is nothing they earn, but is given out of God's mercy. One dictionary I stumbled across that defines phrases defines self-righteous as 
having or characterized by a certainty, especially an unfounded one, that one is totally correct or morally superior. People should realize that Christians don't make up such certainties on their own. They are simply trusting in what they believe God has revealed. So the certainty they portray is not in themselves, but in God. By this definition, I guess a person who is certain that the universe came into existence through the Big Bang could be called self-righteous. But obviously this definition is open to much interpretation. Now about Christians being judgmental, this is true. But contrary to popular belief, Jesus actually commanded his followers to judge people. A verse that a lot of non-Christian people have memorized is where Jesus said, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Many people, Christians included, may be ignorant of where Jesus also said, Stop judging by mere appearances but instead judge correctly. This verse shows us that the judging Jesus was against was judging by appearance. And if people read the verse following Matthew 7.1, they would see Jesus was speaking of hypocritical judgment. So when the saints judge hypocritically or by appearance, they are not following Christ and are thus not Christians at that moment. And the final point is hypocrisy. I just touched on hypocrisy, so no new explanation is needed. The saints definitely can be hypocrites, and allow me to expose one avenue of hypocrisy that is obvious today. Jesus told his followers, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. A person who calls themselves a Christian and fails to preach the gospel is indeed a hypocrite. So a Christian that does not obey Christ is an oxymoron. It's like saying that pacifists endorse war. Those who have been saved have the same problems as the unsaved and are no better, just better off. The only reason they are better off is because they have humbled themselves before God and accepted his gift of salvation. Ezekiel 13. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts, Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination, whereas ye say, The Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, saith the Lord God. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity, and that divine lies they shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace, and one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. Say unto them which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it, lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the daubing wherewith ye have daubed it? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, 
and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger, and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So will I break down the wall that ye have daubed with untempered mortar, and bring it down to the ground, so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall, and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall, and upon them that have daubed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, The wall is no more, neither they that daubed it. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesy concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith the Lord God. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thou against them, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Woe to the women that sew pillows to all armholes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? And will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread, to slay the souls that should not die, and to save the souls alive that should not live, by your lying to my people that hear your lies? Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, and deliver my people out of your hand. And they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthen the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way, by promising him life. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Like Babylon, Jezebel is intriguingly mentioned in Revelation. So like Babylon, this means there is a Jezebel spirit that hasn't ever gone away, and won't go away until God deals with it directly at the end of time. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess. By her teaching she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely, unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Thyatira, to you who do not hold to her teaching and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets. Notice that phrase at the end. God refers to Satan's deep secrets. This is a direct reference to the secret serpent knowledge from Eden that forms the basis of the mysteries that occultists are so anxious to know. Now obviously the literal person of Jezebel is not going to be present in Thyatira as she died thousands of years ago in 2 Kings in the Bible. The reference is a prophetic parallel. Just as John the Baptist was Elijah because he came in the spirit and power of Elijah, this person or influence in Thyatira will be under the spiritual control of the same demonic influences that controlled Jezebel. Thus there is a type of demonic influence in society today and the church because this passage in Revelation 2 was written to the church that can rightly be called by the name Jezebel. This demonic spirit existed long before Queen Jezebel and indeed goes back to Samiramis. But Jezebel was so totally controlled by its nature that she has become its namesake. We also know far more about the characteristics of the spirit through Jezebel than Semiramis because her story is recorded in 2 Kings. But whatever is true of the nature of Jezebel was true of the nature of Semiramis because they were both controlled by the same spirit. The spirit of Semiramis is the spirit of Jezebel, which is the spirit of Astarte or Ashtoreth or Asherah, which is the spirit of witchcraft. In scripture, Herodias is also a type of this force. As Jezebel opposed Elijah, so Herodias opposed John the Baptist. 
So what about this Jezebel spirit? A Jezebel spirit above all seeks domination and to achieve this end she uses manipulation and intimidation. Now although Jezebel is commonly referred to as a she, as a spirit she can exhibit behaviours that are associated with both males and females. For example, people who recognise they are weaker than those they seek to control tend to use manipulation. This is normally true of females who may use tears, hurt feelings and emotional guilt to get what they want. People who feel stronger than those they want to control tend to intimidate. This is more characteristic of men who may use strength, violence or other forms of intimidation to control others for their own ends. Different methods but the same goal, domination. This is the definition of witchcraft. The Jezebel spirit will use manipulation while she feels she's in a position of weakness, but once she has acquired the power, will switch to intimidation. We can see this in the way she threatened to murder Elijah, and I keep referring back to our plan A and plan B concept. Plan A is the female manipulative way to dominate, and plan B is the masculine violent and intimidating way to dominate. Interestingly, the female method is far more socially acceptable in modern society. I once heard a girl boasting that she could get guys to do anything she wanted. All she had to do was lure them with her beauty, which is the essence of femininity, and she had them in the palm of her hand. What she didn't realise is that the guy could equally use his superior physical strength, which is the essence of masculinity, to force her to do what he wanted, but he didn't. So if the guy didn't dominate her with his strength, perhaps she shouldn't dominate him with her beauty. But the subtle feminine method of control is considered almost normal in society, and so it goes on all the time unchallenged. Overt intimidation and violence, on the other hand, will put the perpetrator in jail. Spiritually, Christians should view both forms as equally offensive. Both are aiming for domination and control over another person, which is witchcraft. Now referring back to the Jonathan Livingston seagull example, where the demons behaved like seagulls as they were being expelled and had taken on the characteristics of the thing from where they had originated, we can conclude that since the Jezebel spirit originated with Semiramis, it would follow that it has her characteristics. This spirit therefore seems more comfortable operating through women and initially tends to establish control without the use of actual physical force. She is more easily associated with classic feminine persuasion techniques, and the Bible always refers to her as a woman. You will often find the Jezebel spirit trying to get close to those who already have control. Proverbs says, Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths. For she has cast down many wounded, and all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. Scripture emphasises that the intended target of the spirit is strong men. It primarily targets men with leadership skills or powerful positions such as Nimrod and Ahab. But in reality she has a deep hatred of true spiritual authority and will always seek to replace it with illegitimate authority. She will do this through emotional pressure, witchcraft and obsessive sensuality. But make no mistake, lust and sex are merely tools to weaken others in order for her to accomplish her goal. The subtle persuasions of femininity are used only to gain influence and to get close to those in control. She then uses this position to gradually dominate. In the Hebrew, the name Jezebel means literally, without cohabitation. She will not live with those she cannot dominate and control. She will have no equals. We saw evidence of this when Samiramis ordered the death of Nimrod and plotted to do the same to Tamutz. There are no ends she will not go to in order to gain and keep control. It is what Jezebel wants more than anything. Domination is always satanic and stands in contrast to the example given to us by Jesus, the servant king, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. Even when Jezebel appears to be submissive, it is usually out of carefully wrought plan to gain influence. In 1 Kings 21.8 we read, Jezebel wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal and sent them to the elders and nobles of the city. This tells us that she prefers to remain concealed in the background while she manipulates situations and leaders, a hidden hand behind the public figure, just like Satan is the king of Tyre pulling the strings behind the prince of Tyre. The power of the spirit of Jezebel should not be underestimated. 
For seven years, God had carefully and miraculously protected Elijah from Ahab's armies. God had even commanded ravens to feed him in the wilderness. He had supernaturally met all his needs. In the Mount Carmel showdown, Elijah called down fire from heaven and resoundingly defeated and killed the priests of Baal. All Israel fell at his feet in repentance, worshipping the true God. Elijah was one of the mightiest prophets of God that the world had ever seen. He was vindicated and victorious. And yet it took a single threat from Jezebel to send Elijah spinning into anxiety and even depression. He fled to the desert and begged God to kill him. Think about this, because naturally speaking it makes no sense. Elijah enjoyed supernatural protection for seven years, watched fire fall from heaven, saw his enemies defeated, and still Jezebel could bring him to this condition with a single threat. This is an example of Jezebel's power to intimidate and strike fear into the hearts of men, causing them to withdraw. Jezebel will try to steal your vision. Jezebel will even make you depressed and anxious when there is nothing significantly different in your circumstances. And if there are difficult circumstances, this spirit will tell you that they are insurmountable, impossible and overwhelming. Jezebel will make you feel like dying when in reality you are God's man of the hour. Spiritual life may seem irrelevant and pointless. You may lose the desire to pray and the faith to try. Demonic voices will tell you it's all hopeless. You may suddenly find yourself in unreasonable anxiety, fearing tragedy or death, pessimistic and cynical. Much of what is called depression is actually Jezebel. Jezebel wants to paralyze with fear, condemnation, depression, apathy, or whatever it takes until we withdraw. The only answer for those under Jezebel's attack is perseverance in battle. And remember, the God who resoundingly defeated Baal on Carmel can do the same today.